Praise the Lord. Yeah. Thank God for your life. You've shared some deep things on this channel. Like I said, one of our viewers wrote me, she said, I was writing so, so fast I couldn't even catch up. I told a friend of mine that, you know, this man is on, she needs to watch. And you know, you receive a lot of revelations from God. And some Christians will wonder, who think maybe some, it's only revelation from God is only for special people. <laughs> but the question is, how do you condition your spirit, soul, and body to receive from God? Yeah, that is the word, conditioning your spirit, soul, and body to receive from God because God is always speaking. And as a matter of fact, God is interested in speaking to us than we are dying to hear from him. Wow. Recently, I was, teach, I was doing a teaching in our church and it, it starts, it's, it's about partnership with God. And one of the things God told me, which I began to tell the church is that it is God that needs us. It is not us that need God. An example is that it is us that need this studio. This studio doesn't need us. It doesn't need us for anything. But eventually, this studio is going to be beautified as it is there for us to use the studio. So God is more interested in talking to us. He is the one who created us. We didn't create him. He is the one who breathed into us the breath of life. He is the one who needed fellowship. He is the one who needed human beings. We didn't need him. We didn't even exist. So God is interested in talking to us. As a matter of fact, God is always talking. It's only that humans are not hearing like in the book of Job, chapter number 33, verse 14. The Bible says, God speaks once, yet twice, and then man does not perceive it. Wow. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when man is slumbering, then God speaks to his ear. He seals up an instruction. He's always talking. Just like somebody may not open this channel of Revelation TV now. He's always home, 24-7 is wow. there. But somebody may not. God is, that is something God is saying to me right now. That is something God is saying to you right now. However, until we come to a point where we are able to condition ourselves to be able to hear from him, we won't hear what he has said. Whatever God is going to say, he has said it. Whatever God is going to do, he has done it. It is us that are finding those things out. But God has spoken them to us. God has released them. Many revelations. There is nobody God doesn't want to talk to. Wow. Just like I usually give example of my two boys. I have two boys. Why will I not want to speak to any one of them? Why will I not want to care for them? Why will I not want to love them? Both equally. That is what I want to do. But then, those who are able to hear God much more than others is as a result of the way they condition their own spirit, soul, and body. Wow. Because our spirit, our soul, our body, the three of them are receptors. You know, if your spirit is ready and your soul is not ready, that's a problem. If your soul is ready, your body is not ready, that's a problem. The three of them must be ready. That's why when they ask Jesus that which of the commandments is the greatest, he said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God, God. with all thy heart, heart. all thy soul. Mm. On thy mind. Wow. Everything has to be present. And if you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, we will see how many people condition their spirit, condition their soul, condition their body to be able to hear from God. That's why you see people like Elijah, Elijah, they were able to condition more. That's why they can, for instance, right now, in the book of Acts chapter 13, from verse 1, the Bible says, the apostles, the, the prophets, and the teachers gathered themselves together. Barnabas was there. Paul was there. They were ministering to the Lord, conditioning their spirit to receive from God. All of a sudden, the Holy Ghost spoke. Separate me, Paul and Barnabas, for the work that I've said. If we take time to worship God in this place and condition the atmosphere, we're going to be hearing what God has spoken into the atmosphere. He's not just speaking them. He has spoken them. We are just hearing it. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you understand? And there are so many dimensions to this. There are so many dimensions to this. Because a lot of people, sometimes when we tell them about conditioning your spirit, soul, and body, they think it's just about praying, praying in tongues, or singing, you know, and laying flat. No, there are so many things. That is the love dimension. That is the foolishness dimension. That is the childlikeness dimension, which I talk about the other time. And all of these things are part of, and parcels of the reason why one will hear what God has spoken or one will not hear what God has spoken. That's interesting. My, you know, every time you come on this program, you come loaded with revelation. 
that will bless many. Because a lot of people are struggling, even men of God. They don't even fully understand these things you're talking about. Because the flesh is there struggling. The flesh yeah. is weak. Yeah. And then the spirit wants to work. Yeah. And then the soul is destroyed. So as a result, they are struggling in ministry. Yeah. But like you said, once we condition, it's like Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. If there's no agreement with them, yeah. among them, it won't work. Yeah, it won't work. 